welcome back happy thursday it is travel day for me i'm headed to georgia for the weekend to hang out with jt i'm looking forward to a relaxing couple of days of just chillness just to hang out chill out um i'm on my way to the airport right now um my flight leaves at six like 605 something like that it's quarter to four so we are headed up doesn't take that long to get to the airport 15 20 minutes depending on traffic once you cross into pennsylvania sometimes the traffic around the first like three exits gets pretty tight and then it's usually um, smooth sailing from there this is my first time flying on spirit airlines so there's that <laughs> i used a, a credit that i had from last year when the pandemic first started and we had some flights canceled so i i had credit so i um i used that opportunity to like choose my seat you know you have to pay for that with them so i i chose like seats where you're supposed to have more leg room so we'll see um and of course i'll give you guys my honest opinion about spirit i've seen so many mixed reviews about it like because it's usually so much cheaper than the other ones but then you have to pay for everything separately so everybody's like they nickel and dime you and um it's supposed to be like small seats and no leg room and just not as professional but you know a lot of people said that about Frontier too and I like Frontier I normally fly on Frontier so I like to go and form my own opinion um, hopefully the weather holds up it's supposed to rain I really do not like flying in the rain uh, so I hope there won't be any like delays or anything with that or like any bad storms or whatever with uh, what's that child name Ursula going around trying to wreak havoc on different places so hopefully it's a good flight and I will keep you guys updated let's get ready for a nice little chill weekend adventure <laughs> There was a guy who was mad because he was in a line for a system that the guy was with him just to drop the bag off. He tried to cut the line right when it was my turn. I was like, no, it's my turn. And the lady wouldn't let him go up there. So I was like, nobody can tell me. I just stood there because I was like, no, I'm not going to do that to her with somebody in the airport. I mean, airport. But luckily, 
she told him no at that point. He was mad. He was mad too. But other than that, he was being pretty smooth. So an hour. I would get something to eat, but y'all know. I forget who it was that it was like uh, no gallbladder, no food. <laughs> There's no way I'm using no hair in the bathroom. So I uh, would just have to wait till I get there. And when JT picked me up, they would go find some food. But it's been pretty good so. Apparently some people over in the other terminal is fighting. That's Frontier over there. Everybody done got up to go look. I ain't going over there. You can definitely hear it though. I kind of want to be nosy. <laughs> it's now 6.40 and we're just about to board. They've been slow. And like all the people just like jumped up and the chick that's doing like the thing. She's like, if you was not your turn, don't come up here. Like, she giving it to the people because everybody, of course, just jumped up and ready to go. But they only starting to board, like, people would need special help or traveling with babies and stuff. But people are impatient, definitely. Let me tell you, the ghetto on getting on this plane, and that's just from the, uh, the one they had at the gate. They got the right one at the gate, honey, because she just... Uh-uh, cause you got the art, you got the art. Whew, she tough.
Hi guys. Okay, so I have made it <laughs> safely to Atlanta. It is, uh, God, that was an ordeal. That was a whole ordeal. It is now 11.07 and um, whew, I'm tired. I'm so tired. So we finally took off and everything and the flight was okay. We had a lot of turbulence because of, I think we went through a couple of storms. There was a lot of lightning too that I could see from the window. I was trying to take a picture but it was like at one point when I saw it, it the lights in the plane was on. So I couldn't get it on. It was like a glare. But it was a very bumpy, bumpy ride. But everything worked out okay. Um, I would say, okay, I'm going to give you all a quick spirit review. Um, I think everything would have been fine if we didn't have a person on the flight that was, you know, having some life problems. That's a shame because you could tell something was wrong with her before she even got on the plane. Like, she couldn't even get down the gangway. They had to stop in the middle and then they, they brought her a wheelchair and brought her on the board. And then um, when we had to go, we had started taxiing. We, we was in line to take off. And then they turned around and took us back to our gate. And we had to wait for people to come and get her off. But they had to kind of stabilize her before they could get her off. So we still, once we got back to the gate, we had to wait like 30 minutes before they could get her off. And then we had to wait for her off. But we was like another 20 in line. So that took almost an hour or so. Just about. Yeah. To be able to actually take off. So it was a lot. But I think that that was... It would have been a great place. I was in the back, but like squished up. <laughs> There's a lot of kids back there. There was people back there fussing and fussing and complaining and everything. So that probably would have been tough, but overall it wasn't too bad. Um, I'm glad I had the credit because I probably wouldn't have upgraded my seat if I didn't have all that credit that I needed to use before it expired. Um, but having gone through that and how comfortable that seat was and how big it was, it's worth whatever the money was to upgrade. It's definitely, I think, worth the money if you have the money to spare that you have a better seat. Um, I'm extremely tired. I cannot wait to get a nice hot shower and go to bed. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.